Hi guys, Lee from Overbike Gaming here, and I'm a little bit under the weather, so if I have to cough or splutter, I apologise most sincerely. But uh, I, I feel like I needed to talk about this particular individual, and that particular individual, as you may have seen on the thumbnail, is Randy Pitchford. Now, Randy has had a litany of basically putting his feet so far in his mouth he can give himself a prostate check with his big toe. Now, many moons ago, when Aliens Colonial Marines came out, he was the guy pushing it, as he should be, because he's the CEO, CEO of the company Gearbox, the guys that made the game. Well, <laughs> ordered though. And basically, he went around saying, oh, you know, the graphics are revolutionary, the AI is revolutionary, all this sort of jazz. And when it came out, neither of those things were true. In fact, it turned out that Gearbox themselves didn't actually do much work on it. They actually farmed it out. Uh, to a subsidiary, well not a subsidiary, but uh, a, an outsource company. And they were also alleged to have taken the funds received by Sega to make the game and ploughed that into Borderlands instead. That's a bit dodge, but that's just an allegation. I was not there. Now moving on a bit, we've got further allegations against poor old Randy, uh, amongst which he was accused of siphoning £12 million into his own bank account as part of a secret bonus that he allegedly received. I will use the term allegedly again. And uh, then he managed to leave a USB flash drive at a uh, restaurant come medieval jousting tournament. What the fuck? I don't know. Um, and on that flash drive was not only sensitive company documentation, but also a barely legal video of a girl, um, well, let's just say doing a bit of the waterworks sort of thing. I don't mean pissing, I mean she came so hard she squirted. I was trying to keep that classy, it didn't work, never mind. Um, originally it was, the, the allegation was that it was underage, but no, no, he's come out and he said, nope, barely legal. Okay, good, thanks for clearing that up. Why that was on a flash drive with sensitive company information is a different story, but never mind, we'll, we'll move on. And then we've come to Borderlands 3. Now, Borderlands 3, in and of itself, Randy did not need to do anything else. Because, my goodness, the, 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 the things he's done around Borderlands 3 are... I mean, let, let's start off with the first one, which is the Epic Store exclusive, where Randy's saying, basically, that Epic, the Epic Store is the best thing for gaming. No, no, it's not. But, you know, you're entitled to your own opinion, so we'll, we'll, we'll let that go. I mean, OK, a lot of fans were pissed off by it, but there you go. Um, he's gotten shook with two voice actors, not one, but but two. Um, we'll start off with the least sensationalized one, and that's Troy Baker. Uh, Randy says Troy Baker didn't want to come back. Troy Baker said he absolutely did want to come back, but was not offered to. So, yeah, OK. Nice. And then we have the guy, I think it's Eddings, who formerly portrayed Claptrap. Now, he did that when he was employed by uh, Gearbox Software, and he did it for free. It was something they're, they're encouraged to do in, you know, in-house and what have you. But, uh, yeah, he, w he wanted paying this time around, um, which is fair enough. And Randy says they offered him, like, two times scale, but Eddings says no. And... He was quite aggressive. He cut, Randy does come out on Twitter quite a lot and be very aggressive with people. And Eddings then said he was physically assaulted by him in the lobby of a hotel. Okay. So there's that. I mean, it's he said, he said she said, so whatever. I'll, I'll allow you to assign gender in that example yourselves. And now... Mr. Pitchford, uh, posting on Twitter again, uh, posted a video like two days ago, probably three when you see this. And basically it was a cat and a crab uh, placed, well it's a setup basically, so they put together and the crab grabs the cat with its claw and the cat obviously reacts in pain and arrives about. Um, I've not seen it. Now, I'm not a cat person. I like dogs. Uh, in my experience, cats generally are owned by witches, so that's that's all well and good. But, you know, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see a cat getting attacked by a crab. Fucking hell, those pincers are sharp, man. I mean, I wouldn't want to get my fucking 
digit caught on them, and I'm sure the cat didn't appreciate it either. But the thing is, when he posted it, he just said, for your consideration. That's all he said. And so you didn't know what you were clicking on. So if that was something that was going to potentially upset you, you didn't know that that was going to upset you until you actually watched the damn thing. And then he came back and he said, oh, well, you know, um, basically the, we can look at this and some of it's not negative. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? What part of that is not negative? It's, it's just a cat being hurt. But, okay. I mean, it's unbelievable with this guy. I just... He's CEO of Gearbox. It's a privately owned company, so, you know, he's the boss, right? It's, if it was a public-held company, I can't see him being employed there anymore. I really can't for the amount of shit he has brought to his own company. It's ridiculous. So here's a piece of advice, Mr. Pitchford. Stop tweeting your own personal opinions. Stop, in fact, stop tweeting anything. Let your marketing department do it. That's what they're there for. Uh, your company will benefit from it, you will benefit from it, and people that don't want to see this sort of shit will also benefit from it. Oh, and side note, when people go to a video games uh, demonstration, they don't want to see magic tricks. Randy is a close-up magic expert, he is a magician, and uh, yes, a lot of their presentations involve him doing bloody card tricks. That's not why people are there, Randy, they'll go to a magic show if they want to see that. <sighs> Oh, and also that angry English large person that you uh, apparently can't remember the name of. That's Jim fucking Sterling, son. And thank God for him. <laughs>